Hi students, I wanted to give you another example of using trade terms in the table that we went over in class. Remember, the idea is that we want to see that we can consume more once we've decided to specialize in trade than before. So here is the table that you should recognize from class. On the left hand side we have production and consumption without trade. Production with trade are trade terms. I should probably put terms in here. Trade terms our consumption with trade, and then our gains from that trade. Uh, this might be a little different from your problem set. With your problem set, I believe I say production and consumption before trade, and then consumption after trade, but it's the same thing, it's the same idea behind it. Uh, so what we're gonna look at now is how can we achieve our goal? So remember what our goal is, right? Our goal is to see consumption with trade, to be greater than or equal the consumption without trade. Because that's gonna show us that trade can make everyone at least as well off. So what we need to do is we need to figure out the trade terms, because I've already given you row one, right? This is given on the problem set and in class, the way that we uh, gave you the first row was by saying you had to use half your resources, but since we don't know the resources, we don't know anything, I just wanna focus on the table, I just give you these numbers. And then the second row has to deal with who has the comparative advantage, right? Remember the definition of comparative advantage is who has the lower opportunity cost. So we can see here that Costa Rica is specializing in shirts, they're not producing any beach balls, so they must have the comparative advantage in shirts, whereas Bhutan's not producing any shirts, so that must mean that they have the comparative advantage in beach balls. So let's move on to the row, which is our row three, which I feel like is giving uh, students the most trouble. It's actually not that bad to figure out what the trade terms are, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to reach this goal. We want consumption with trade to be greater than consumption without trade. So we need this row right here to be greater than our first row. The way we do that is we say, okay, we must trade. Costa Rica is going to trade some shirts to Bhutan for some beach balls, and we're going to show that this consumption with trade can be greater than the consumption without trade. I like to start from the left, and as you know from class, we're going to first say who's going to import, who's going to export. Since Costa Rica is specializing in shirts, because they're producing 60 shirts and zero beach balls, they're going to get rid of some shirts. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna trade it to Bhutan, so Bhutan must be gaining those shirts. You can see Costa Rica, again, beach balls, they're not gonna produce any because they're specializing in shirts, so they must gain the beach balls, and they're gonna get them from Bhutan, who is specializing in beach balls, and they're producing 72. Now the fun part. The fun part is to actually solve the problem. The problem is we need to prove our goal, another star, because it's important, that consumption with trade can be greater than or equal to consumption without trade. And so as you can see here, we wanna make sure that this number, which is the consumption with trade, is greater than consumption without trade. So we need to know, make sure that this number is greater than 40. But Costa Rica is producing 60, so they could get rid of at most 20 and still fall in that category, still satisfy this goal. So we know that Costa Rica can get rid of 20. Bhutan, still working with shirts, they decided they're not going to produce any shirts, but in order to be as well off as they were before, they need to get 18, right? Because they zero, they need to receive 18. Back to Costa Rica, they can get rid of up to 20. Bhutan needs at least 18. There seems to be a good number in there, where Costa Rica will give 19 to Bhutan. We can see under the shirts column right here that if Costa Rica was producing 60 shirts and then got rid of 19 of them, now they can consume 41, which is greater than consumption without trade. They gained one shirt. That's showing our goal. Consumption with trade is greater than consumption without trade. Bhutan used to have 18, they didn't produce any, but they gained 19 from Costa Rica, so they can consume 19, which is gonna be one greater than before. Again, 
we're showing that consumption with trade is going to be greater than consumption without trade. Now let's move on to beach balls. What you notice is that Costa Rica was able to produce 40 beach balls by themselves, but they decided that they're going to specialize in shirts. So now they're producing zero beach balls, meaning that they need to get at least 40 to be as well off as they were before. They're going to get those beach balls from Bhutan. As you see by themselves, Bhutan could produce or could consume and produce 18 beach balls. Now when they specialize, they can produce 72. They can actually produce 54 more as long as they specialize in producing beach balls. So they can get rid of at most 54. Costa Rica can, needs to gain at least 40. So we can pick a number between 40, 54. Let's go with 50. That's a number between 40 and 54. And what we notice is that Costa Rica is not producing anything and they're gaining 50 and they're gaining 50 so they must be able to consume 50. Before by themselves without trade they were able to consume 40 now they're consuming 50 so now they can consume 10 additional beach balls. Again showing our goal. Consumption with trade is greater than consumption without trade. Bhutan was producing 72 when they were specializing. They got rid of 50, and so they can now consume 22. Before they decided to trade, so their production and consumption without trade when they were doing it by themselves was only 18. So they were able to gain four, since now they can do 22. What we notice is that we saw that all gains from trade were positive. Our goal was to show that consumption with trade is greater than or equal to consumption without trade. So we showed that. We did not increase resources, we did not increase technology, all we did was specialize and we were able to show gains from trade.